Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be trying to build the 2003 Too Fast Too Furious Dodge Viper SRT10 and uh, I'm going to be using the Banshee for this build because obviously the Banshee in GTA is based around a Dodge Viper. That's, that's the closest car in the game to a Dodge Viper anyway. Uh, the, the car from Too Fast Too Furious is pretty basic. It's quite stock. Uh, there's no crazy amounts of customizations to do to it so i think this is going to be pretty straightforward and pretty simple um but like you can see i am in the banshee right now and without any further ado let's get into ls customs and see what sort of customizations we can do to create this car from too fast too furious so you go my bros as you pull into ls customs you'll see the bravado banshee is in the sports category so to start this build guys we're going to go into armor and purchase 100% body armor we're going to go to the brakes and get the race brakes for the front bumper uh, I don't think we're going to change this we'll just have a quick look at the options anyway and it's a carbon fiber version of the stock one so we're not going to change that we are going to stay stock for the front bumper uh, we don't get an option for the rear bumper we go straight down to the engine we're going to get a level 4 engine upgrade for the exhaust now we can see we've got a side exit exhaust and you want to go with this dual exit exhaust that looks it looks fucking pretty sweet man actually next we're going to move to the hood and we want to grab we're going to go with this vented hood only because the stock hood is nowhere near what we need and obviously the carbon version is even further away from that so we're going to go with the vented hood um, the car on the film does have a singular central vent in the hood um, very similar to the ones that we've got here right now um, but like I said it is a singular one and it is in the center but this is going to do a good enough job for me so we're going to go with that one next we're going to go to the lights I'm going to go headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights next we're going to go to the respray I'm going to go primary color to start metallic and then I'm going to go and purchase this color race yellow once you've purchased that you then will go into the secondary color also into metallic and go and purchase a race yellow now the car in the film is a convertible but we do get a roof option so if you do purchase a banshee and it's got the roof you do need to come into the roof and remove it and uh, that, <laughs> that actually looks really really good at the minute I'm really happy with the way this has come out so far but moving on with next got the spoiler and the car in the film doesn't really have a spoiler um, as stock we get this weird looking ducktail spoiler thing on the back of this banshee um, I wish we could remove it I know if we do the 900R you do get an option to remove that um, but with the 900R you then get like a wider body kit and like I said at the beginning the Viper from Too Fast Too Furious is very stock looking and I think if we went with the 900R you know it's going to take away that stock look um, so to sacrifice removing that ducktail spoiler um, I think it all works quite well just using the standard Banshee um, and then just having to deal with that ducktail spoiler uh, it doesn't look too bad I mean uh, that would be better if we did have an option to remove it on this car and it didn't have to be the 900R but you know that's just how it is um, but all these other spoilers are no good we don't need none of that so make sure you're on none for the spoiler for the suspension we are going to get the competition suspension transmission we're going to get a race transmission and turbo tuning then we're going to go to the wheels once you're in the wheel type you want to go down to the sport now i'm doing this in story mode but if you're doing this online you do want to go and purchase some chrome rims um, for this i know they're a little bit more expensive but the car in the film does have the chrome variation of the rims i'm now about to show you um, alloy is also going to work fine if you haven't got the money for chrome uh, but if you can afford chrome i highly suggest purchasing uh, these wheels in chrome because like I said they're gonna look ten times better and it is gonna be these synthetic Z rims and they're pretty much identical to the ones from the film um, but like I said in in my case I can't purchase the chrome in uh, in story mode so I am gonna have to go with the alloy uh, but like I said go for the chrome if you're on if you're online because it will you know finish it off that little bit nicer and usually at this point we finish the build with light smoke window tint but I have no windows so I have no windows to tint so that is the end of this build so as we pull outside you can see how much this Banshee actually looks like a Dodge Viper and I'm really impressed with the way this has come out the color is really really good 
Um, this is very, very close to the Viper from Too Fast, Too Furious because the Banshee, the Banshee doesn't have much customization as it is. And like I said, the car from the film is very stock looking. Um, so with a, with a rim change um, and the color change and removing the roof and all that sort of stuff and the hood change as well, is very, very close. Um, if I could change anything, you know, if, if I had the power to change anything on this car, it would be, would be that front grill, uh, where it's like a wide mouth at the minute. Uh, the car from the film has kind of like a crisscross uh, grill in there, which is color coded, which would obviously finish this off a little bit nicer if that had that, but we don't have that option, so we just have to deal with it. And also removing this, um, uh, what they call it? They call it a deck lid, don't they? I think they call it a deck lid, or I'd call it a ducktail spoiler, whatever. Um, but yeah, if you could remove that, and place a new grill in there this car would look identical you know I couldn't really choose anything uh, other than them two things to change to make it look a little bit closer to what it actually does already look like the Viper from Too Fast Too Furious but what I'm going to quickly go, now, go, do, go and do now is go into the menus mod and quickly go down to vehicle options because I'm pretty sure if I go into menus customs I can change these wheels to chrome so if you are in story mode and you have menus you can obviously change the wheel colors this way uh, carbon black chrome's got to be here somewhere isn't it? so there you go guys I did eventually find how to change my wheels to chrome in the menus mod uh, or the mod menus menu <laughs> whatever the fuck you want to call it but I did eventually find it and as you can see they do look a lot nicer in chrome Looks, I'm really happy with the way this has come out, man. Like, like I said at the beginning, I know this is a very basic build. There isn't much to it, but what you can do to it is amazing. But anyway, guys, that is now going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy this build on the 2003 Dodge Viper SRT10 from Too Fast, Too Furious. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.